Okay, are you ready? Last chapter, after an epic scuffle, including at least eight or nine punches, Carnage did the Dark Knight bit and dropped Elsa off a cliff. I see no way Elsa Cold have froze to the challenge. Saved herself. So then it was Frost to intercede. I can't articulate how much damage being cast down would spell for such a damsel who doesn't have any magic. Let it go. Let it go. If you'd like to contact Fanfiction Theater, you can send your emails to fanficknight at orderoftheleague.com. You can send us fan art of fanfiction we've written, suggestions for fanfiction we should read, or just comments, questions, concerns. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It sure is. Fanfiction theater, a celebration of naive writing and all of its foibles, flaws, and unintentional hilarity. Chapter 6. After the battle, Carnage had swung back to his hideout to regroup and strategize. Oh, well, there we go. See? Explained. <laughs> I think somebody, oh, probably his wife, read Chapter 5 and was like, but what? why did Carnage just disappear? And he's like, okay, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll handle that next well, chapter. He... No need to go back yeah. and edit. <laughs> <laughs> his plans of kidnapping Queen Elsa were ruined due to Venom being there to defend her. Okay, so that was uh, all right. If you're if you were planning to kidnap her, maybe it went awry when you dropped her. <laughs> yeah, you released her right. from your grasp. Also, I don't know, maybe if that was your real plan. Yeah, so maybe choose a different time. Even though the bond Venom had formed with the Queen had become an inconvenience to his plans, perhaps it could be used to his advantage somehow. Entering the abandoned castle, he prepared himself for what he soon had to do. Indeed, his new master would be displeased once he learns of his failure. As he entered the former throne room of the castle, which had been converted into a makeshift laboratory, he heard someone tisking. Tisk, tisk. Um, I don't know who this is. So, oh, Serpentine. They're tisks. Serpentine. Serpentine or serpentine. Serpentine. Wait, I, I oh, assume, is that a character? I assume he's gonna like draw out his S's and that's gonna be his <laughs> Of course, name. yes. How I do not want to be in your shoes, friend. Carnage looked over to see the snake like man, Serpentine, smiling as he was bent over a workbench fixing something. Shaking his head, Carnage shot back. Only a mirror oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know what. Only a minor roadblock. I'll have the Ice Queen soon enough. Halloween Townie, I pronounce it. <laughs> I pronounced it the British way because I listen to a lot of British audiobooks. So sometimes I, uh, especially when I'm narrating, I will accidentally go yeah. British. Uh, he then stormed out of the room, down a corridor, and into a large chamber. The room was almost as large as the throne room, but was much darker. As Carnage walked further into the room, he called, Master, I'm back. Suddenly, a voice boomed back. I know. I also know you failed to retrieve the queen. To which Carnage responded, There were complications. Suddenly, blue flames. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in case anybody's not uh, seeing it Reading completely, along. blue is B-L-E-W. Yeah. Suddenly, blue okay. flames shot up, revealing a large, dark mirror with a frame that looked to be made of human bones. Suddenly, a large skull face appeared and glared at Carnage and said, Yes, I have seen these complications you speak of. Your brother Venom was there and stopped you. The monstrous skeleton creature added, he has grown strong feelings for Queen Elsa, but since she had seen his true form, he left Arendelle and is now hiding in the North Mountains. Carnage then replied, How convenient. Now is the perfect time to grab her, Master. I should have just stuck around and done that right after he left, I guess. <laughs> I'll go get her right now. <laughs> But much to his surprise, the master quickly answered, No, I have bigger plans for the both of them, especially Venom. 
Let them reunite, and then we shall make our next move. In the meantime, I have a new chore for you. Carnage quickly said, Name it. Once Serpentine's work is complete, I'll be able to enter this world and conquer it. However, in order for this to be done, he requires something very important, and I want you to retrieve it for him. It was then his face disappeared in the mirror and was replaced by a dark-covered book entitled Mundus Calcator. The creature's voice then said, "You are A to dark-covered book. <laughs> yeah. You are to retrieve this book and bring it back here. It was then the... <laughs> It was then the skull reappeared and added, I was wondering when it would be that the skull would reappear and add, <laughs> Once you retrieve the Mundus Calcator, there will be no stopping us. It was then an evil smile formed on Carnage's face as he said, Oh, don't worry, man. I'll retrieve it. He then formed blades from his arms. I'm going to have some fun doing it, too. <coughs> Meanwhile, in Arendelle. So, was that Skeletor? Like, <laughs> I don't I'm know. I'm sure you were kidding I before. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, is, is Serpentine like sure. a... I don't... No, that doesn't sound familiar at all. I, that, I honestly, I'm pretty impressed if, if this guy actually anything. like made up his his own OC uh, bad guys. Like, oh, you, you search for it. Like, you couldn't find it. Serpentine yeah, it sounds like something just a bunch of different things. It wasn't hmm. right. Yeah, Serpentor from GI Joe. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah oh, yeah, yeah. I had that right. one. <laughs> Later that evening, after the incident with Carnage, Anna, Kristoff, Olaf, and Sven were in the dining room where they first date with Eddie. A heavy silence had filled the air as the group sat around the table deep in thought and still recovering from what they had seen that day. Elsa didn't bother joining them, for she had went straight to her bedroom and sat on her bed deep in thought. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's deep in thought, okay? Regardless of location. She, <laughs> she knew Eddie had his secrets and could sense there was something unnatural about him. <laughs> really? Yet nothing could have prepared her for what had happened. Despite everything that Eddie or this venom had kept from her, she knew exactly why he had done it. She knew what it was like to be different from everyone else and hated for it. She also now knew what it felt like to be shut out by somebody she really cared about. She couldn't help but feel sorry for everything she had put Anna through all those years due to her ice powers. She deeply cared about Eddie, and when he left after saving her, he f she felt as though her heart was ripped from her chest. As she continued to sit on the edge of her bed, a tear rolled down the side of her face and fell. The side of her face? Not her cheek, just... Okay. It then landed on what she was holding in her hands. The gentle splash of her tear brought her back as she looked at the necklace she was holding. The silver necklace completed with the large sapphire jewel was truly breathtaking, and what surprised and flattered her most was that it came from Eddie. Sadly, he never had the chance to officially give it to her, though. Earlier that day, when Eddie saved Elsa from Slay that Carnage had thrown... Okay, he did throw it, he wasn't writing it. I don't know which is better, though. Yeah. The, nec the necklace fell out of his pocket and onto the ground. See, this is why... She didn't interfere with the fight because she was busy looking at that the entire time. Oh, a necklace. Were... <laughs> oh, it's got a it's got a note too. Dum de dum. There was also a note that Eddie had written to go with it. She smiled and whispered, "I wish I could have looked at all of this with you." She then opened the letter and silently read from it again. Elsa, over the short time I've gotten to know you, I've truly seen how wonderful a person you are. I wish I could put it in better words, but I'm not really the articulate type, as you've probably guessed. Ha ha. So I got you this <laughs> gift here. <laughs> At least you didn't write LOL. All right. <laughs> the necklace. <L> -M -F -A <laughs> the necklace is nowhere near as beautiful as you, but it's a start. 
which means that he plans on taking a lot of really expensive jewelry. That shop owner said I could have any <laughs> <laughs> Shop loader <laughs> that yeah. made the worst deal of her career. <laughs> well, and he also says it's nowhere as beautiful as you, but it's a start, like as if he's going to create a fake uh, uh, Elsa out of diamonds or something. <laughs> Yeah, as she finished like reading the letter, the waterworks were really flowing. She quickly <laughs> wiped away her tears and walked to her mirror. Putting the necklace on, she couldn't believe how good it looked on her. It truly suited her well. As she looked at herself, she then said, Eddie, there's no way someone so wonderful like you can be so evil. Of course she was right. He may have done some terrible things in the past, but he's still a better man than that carnage. <laughs> than that Eddie fought. Car yeah, have you seen that carnage? <laughs> <laughs> also, like, I, as That's much as... what about -ism. You're right. It's like, <laughs> where, where's our bar here, you know? Well, um, evil people don't buy necklaces for other people or <laughs> take necklaces for other people. Yeah, yeah, they don't yeah. give people necklaces. That never happens. <laughs> Eddie fought to protect her. He was even impaled by a large wooden beam for her. <laughs> even though he miraculously healed thanks to his superpowers, no, it was the fact he did it all for her that touched her. He took a beam for me. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else has taken a wooden beam. I don't think that was premeditated. Well, the one, but... <laughs> especially, mm -hmm. especially, that was high school. Especially when he dived off the cliff to save her life. She never forgot how he held her close to him. Wait, you said dived? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> so, it's about on level with my three-year-old. Uh, not just for the sake... <laughs> right, instead of dove? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just for the sake of holding her tight for her protection, but almost like a lover's embrace. It was then it really hit home. He loved her. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, the, uh, the lover's embrace was when he was when black, he, slimy, yeah, yanked her and a symbiote. Yeah, that's it. Look, she doesn't care, man. She sees past that. All right. Yeah. As 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 Olivia points out, in the last five hours, she never forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She then felt weak in the knees from flattery. How do you feel weak in the knees when you're sitting down? <laughs> Her heart began beating rapidly from the thought of it. And then with renewed vigor, she ran out of her room and went to find the others. I really thought this was going a different route, but okay. As she raced down the halls and down a flight of stairs, she couldn't help but feel so animate. Truth be told, between being rescued by Eddie and knowing he did it for her made Elsa feel so alive. Usually she was rescued because of her looks, not really because for her, you know? She never felt this way for anyone before, and she wasn't going to lose him that easily. Regardless of what he said or done, she knew there was good in him, for she'd seen it herself. She then burst into the dining room that the others were in. As the doors flew open, everyone jumped and looked over to see Elsa burst in and exclaim, I'm going to find Eddie and I need all of your help. At first, everyone just looked to Elsa, then to one another, before Kristoff finally spoke. Look, Elsa, don't get me wrong, I liked Eddie all right. Heck, we all did. But you saw what he was, what he's capable of doing. He's a villain, just like that other one called Carnage. <laughs> we all know <laughs> that he's called Carnage. <laughs> you mean that Carnage? <laughs> he admitted it himself. Anna quickly interjected. But he saved us, didn't he? To which Kristoff replied and nodded. <laughs> yeah, he did. It was then Olaf piped in. Maybe he didn't become evil because he's really bad. Maybe he became evil because he's misunderstood. <laughs> but he's still <laughs> evil, just to make that clear. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Olaf like Hitler became evil. <laughs> very misunderstood. And Olaf's okay. sudden spout of wisdom. It was not. It doesn't. That's not. I don't like. It's as if this. It's as if the writer thinks people are just intrinsically evil or whatever. You know, like that's mm. kind of. Uh, Olaf's sudden yeah. spout of wisdom stunned everyone in the room. I can't it's, phrase it's it. It's like well, it's but... like a like he's going by the uh, alignment chart. 
Like he he chose lo- chaotic evil because oh, he's misunderstood. Yeah, yeah there's and, nothing and it's, he can do now. He chose it. There's a there's a logical like inconsistency there, and I'm I, I'm I'm just gonna keep going because it's like yeah. if I try to yeah. yeah. It wasn't very often he was serious, but when he was, Olaf could hit the nail straight on the head. Elsa then <laughs> took that opportunity to expand on Olaf's point. I know for a fact that he still has good left in him. I've seen it for myself. She said while holding the necklace he was wearing, or she was wearing. Sorry. He just needs to see it for himself. She then finished her speech with this. <laughs> and plus when this carnage returns, it's again, it's this carnage. <laughs> right. Plus when this carnage returns, he's, he's Carnage, he's not the carnage mom. <laughs> <laughs> Only Run he is strong life. enough to stop him. The enemy of our enemy oh, is our friend. Okay, first of all, that's a terrible <laughs> message. Second, you have superpowers. If you use them, maybe they would be effective. Maybe. Anna said. <laughs> then let's bring our friend home. Elsa smiled. Boom! So it's official. Eddie and Elsa got some feelings for one another. Will Elsa be able to find Eddie? Will they be able to work out the whole Venom thing? And what the heck is the Mundus Calcator? Well, I guess you're going to have to read on to find out. (laughs) What is the Mundus Calcator? It's all with this carnage stuff. (laughs) Have you heard about this carnage?